Hello. Oh dear. Oh, I've got an... You know you get that itch in your eye and you want to scratch your eyeball. That's what I've got. It's flipping annoying. Right. Okay, I'll go and check that out now, I'll go. Oh, God. Uh, where am I playing? Oh, yeah. Good. So, how is everyone today? I hope you've all had a good day so far. What's been said? Okay. Hi, where in my messages, SG, on YouTube? Because I've seen all the messages on YouTube. So... But thank you, everyone, for being here. Yeah, it's no, there's, there's just me and you at the moment in chat. But there's others from uh, X on here. So hello to those from X. Give it a few more minutes. They're all coming. They don't always get here on time. A bit like me. I don't. I find. When I first start, it's like one or two, but then as it goes on, I get a lot more, and then it goes down again, then it comes back up again. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. I'll check it again because that would be under. I'll just check again. Right. Oh. oh dear. Tomorrow I'm doing two lives. One at three o'clock in the afternoon. So if you want to join me then please do. That's about the Chad Dorman Dorman case. The one who unalived his three beautiful boys. Um, look. Right, let's see. Right. Oh, oh yes, I've got some here. <laughs> it's come under the I have responded. <laughs> In view there, but you know what I think it captures. Yes. SG. Yeah. Person the woman did not know. Yeah, I'm not pressing that because if you look at that picture, she's walking away. He's it's like she cut in front of him as he's and he's just stepping off the rocks off the curb. I don't think he's with her. Right? But we don't know if there's anyone further up because they're not in the picture. Nothing. Yes, yeah. 
could be could be that energy. You know what I mean? So it's hard to say. I don't know what how to take. All I know about CP is, is it, I actually said it today at my daughter-in-law's. Exactly the words I wanted to use. The words I've been wanting to use for flipping weeks now. And I said it because I knew my grandkids weren't there. And the air was blue. Believe me. You know what I mean? So, if she, I'll pull that picture up. I think I've got it somewhere. Did I put it on here somewhere? Yeah, here it is. Right, you can see that from that picture. She's walking that way. He's coming down this curb. But, like I said, we don't know if there's someone this side of him out of camera range, we don't know. Or even slightly in front of the picture, you know what I mean? Just out of out the distance of the camera. You could have been with someone there. But they'll find all that out on looking at the camera footage. And it's a bit um like They've come back about those uh, those pants, the trousers that was found. Now, they was only found, what, Wednesday? It is now Friday. Right? So, they've come back and TBI or whoever have said they are not Sebastians. But I said that last night because of how they spoke. When they found him, they said they look a small size. Sebastian, Sebastian's quite tall. So, they're not going to fit him if they look a small size. So, I said then last night, I don't think they're his. And to be honest with you, doing, taking DNA costs money. Costs money. It's not, it's not, oh, we can do this, we can DNA this, we can DNA that. It all costs money. So if they can rule those trousers out by looking at the size of them and even the style of them, then it's going to save them some money. But I don't think she is with him. Because, you know, but what gets me is, out of all the people on all these Facebook pages, yeah, on YouTube channels, on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Twitter X, and TikTok, this is all over there. This picture has gone all over them. Now, surely, surely there is someone who knows out of all those thousands of people. Who knows this woman? It's tall and lanky, yeah. What is that? I wouldn't trust his... So if KP said no, it's not his pants. Yeah. Yeah, but the guy behind isn't even facing the same way. He's facing the opposite, the opposite direction to Sebastian. Like I said, there could be someone just off screen of that picture. Just off screen. There is the guy here that comes walking up here. But he's walking that way. He's coming up from that curb, from this curb area here, this way. Right? Where Sebastian is coming down the curb that way, and so he's heading across that way. So I don't even think the, this picture, that person who's out of range here on the end of this photo, is with him, but he's with someone, and it's funny. Exactly, so it's difficult to understand what is happening. Yeah, 
But it's funny how law enforcement, and as far as I know, Seth, has gone quiet on this. It's the silence on this picture by law enforcement, TBI, FBI, is deafening. Now, if this wasn't Sebastian, now they've had this photo nearly a week now. They would have been there by Monday, getting all the evidence they needed. Sunday, Monday, the latest, getting all those video cameras, talking to all the staff members, everyone. Yep. So, I think they could have said, no, this is not Sebastian. They could have ruled it out. Steph contacts T Rev and he says, Yes, I know. I believe I'm fully with I tell you, I'm gonna be gut so gutted. So gutted if this is not Sebastian. I will be. Ali, yeah. FBI are in there as well now, because it's gonna cross state lines. I know someone said Seth had come home. But then I, I think Seth, from the way T-Rev was putting it, he wasn't actually saying he was in North Carolina, but he wasn't saying he wasn't. He didn't say he wasn't. Right. So I think and if I was a fat mother and that was my child, and I, I was adamant and that was my son, I would be in North Carolina. I would be hitting every town. Every parkway, right? every shop, you name it, splattering the whole fucking North Carolina state with flyers. I really would. So, but they've gone deadly silent, and that makes me wonder. They are taking this seriously. Otherwise, if they have got all this information and looked at the videos and spoke to staff who was there on the Saturday and looked at all the videos. That can take a while. Right? <laughs> because they don't know if he went along any of the trial runs. Yeah, T Rev has got information. But he can't he can't confide. No. He won't say. No. And I don't blame him. You know what I mean? You can't, I don't blame him. And I really, really believe this lad is Sebastian. You know, I was talking to my daughter-in-law today about it. That's why the air was blue, because every time CP's name came into it, it wasn't CP. It was the F bing 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 all the time. You know what I mean? It would just been bleep 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 all the way through. When I mentioned CP. So, um, and I said, I will show you because the pic what I've got the I've got the pictures on my laptop. Right? And so I've got to send it, go on to my other Facebook account and go into Messenger there to send you these pictures. And I can only do that off my laptop. Can't do it on my phone. Right, so, exactly. You've got they've got so many videos. They've got all the videos from all the like where you pay. I should imagine you got video camera there. I should I would imagine they have some sort of camera video on that swinging bridge. Right, they've got tri trial cams because then there's so many miles of trails around that area. So many. And I said, I lived in the USA, I would pay the $25 each. Even if it was for my grandkids, I'd pay that $25 to go in there. Because there's so much to be done and seen. You know what I mean? That is a whole day. It's not like some places we have in the UK. It's, um, you pay quite a lot of money in it. You walk around, you have to hour, you've seen everything. You're thinking, I've just paid all this money to come in here and I've seen everything within an hour. 
You know what I mean? But over there, that is literally a whole day. I don't even think you could get it all done in a whole day. I don't think you could go around the um, discovery part where they look at the and the animals. They've got all the animals there. So I don't think you could go around the inside of the building and see all that discovery bits where they've got the pictures and whatever in there. And then you've got all the animals you can go and see. And then you've got the trails. And then you've got the swinging bridge. I don't think you could get it all done in one day. I really don't. So they've got to look through all that camera, all those footage. And as I said, it's not going to be, oh, they've got that footage Monday. Oh, why haven't we heard? And this is Tuesday. Why haven't we heard anything? Because you're not going to hear anything. It can take days, days and days and days. Right? And if they do see something, they're not going to say anything anyway. They're not. So it really annoyed me. And do you know what? You know, um, Terry Lynn, Terry Lynn, right? You know, she did the video about the pants. She's had to she had to cancel one of her searches the other night because someone put out on a channel or on her channel put it out where she was. She doesn't give out where she goes for safety reasons. Interesting occurrence last night. Hold on. Uh, P.I. Chloe posted there was a huge search party coming. To Tennessee, I'm not quoting. I knew it was posted and as a diversion to change the narrative. And today, the post is gone. So, Chloe, the PI, posted that there was a huge surge coming. And then that post was took down. Why would she do that? Why would she take that post down unless she's been told to take it down? But it's like the other PI, she said something about this picture, right? And she concurs, she believes it's Sebastian. And then she said uh, something about things are going to start happening or something like that. I'm thinking, oh, well. What's happening? Come on. Yeah, I, yeah. But she shouldn't do that. I'm sorry. Just don't put a post up. The less people talk about this on Facebook, it will soon die down. Right? But the thing is, it's now on YouTube, has been on YouTube. This is not going to die down. We are not going to let this drop. Right? We won't. And I was sitting here today, and I was going through some YouTube channels, and I thought, you know what? This is what I'm doing wrong tomorrow afternoon. I'm so behind on some of my other cases that I've been following. And so, and I know next Thursday, <coughs> <coughs> next Thursday we've got the uh, sentencing of um, Adam Montgomery. And I'll be, that will go live. I'll put that live on here. But we've also got the trial of, oh, God, Chad Dorman coming up in July. Today, uh, I think he had a hearing today, and the hearing was just to see if the judge would get out the death penalty to go in. So... Because Chad Dorman's claiming he's got mental illness and all this like BS, in my opinion. Right, but that's something we'll talk about tomorrow. But apparently he had a court hearing today. So I'll find out more for that about for that tomorrow. But I'm so behind on some of my other cases. And I've looked at all my videos and I thought, oh god, it's all it's all Sebastian, 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 Sebastian. People must be sick and sick of seeing my videos coming up because it's all Sebastian. And I am here for the children. I always will be here for the children. But I have got other cases that I'm 
invested in as well. Because I did do a YouTube, a live on Chad Dorman, near the beginning when I first started. Because that case did interest me. And then we've got a little Elijah Vu as well. I need to catch up on his case. So I'll probably be doing another live in the week. During the week, I'll be Elijah Vu. Just so I can catch up myself and anyone who's interested in these cases, they can catch up as well. But this case, it's just got to me this case as it is. My heart and soul is in this case. I can't let, I cannot let this case go. One way or the other, we are bringing that lag home. One way or the other. So, so I don't, I didn't see that on, was that on the Facebook page? Anyway, what Chloe put up. <laughs> That's okay, HG. I'm always doing typos. Yeah, they were sued back in court the other day. I did show it on my Facebook page. Uh, her, the bail money, right, was not dropped. She's still sitting in that cell. Good. Until they tell us where Elijah Vu is, they should stay in that rotting, stinking cell. Just give them fruit, bread and water. Pass it through the hatch in the door. There, give them a bucket, which they've got to empty and clean every morning. That's what they need. No bed, no comforts, no TVs. Just a mattress of hay or straw. Straw mattress, a bucket and bread and water put through the hatch. Until they tell us where that little boy is. But I was looking into that, and then we had that case with, um, oh, God. What was their name now? Got so many cases. Where the uh, father's friend was up for a murder. Audrey. Audrey Cunningham. So that came on. At the same time, I was doing that one and Elijah Vu, and then that one got solved, well not solved, but sorted, so I'm waiting on the court case for that one, um, I thought, Christ, that's two court cases, three court cases I'm waiting on, right, and then we had Ch Sebastian go missing, and at the same day, we had Ma Madeline Soto go missing. Yeah, this one's just tugging at my heart completely. It really is. And this is why I'm so... Inf and it will, will crush me if this is not Sebastian. This will crush me. I probably won't come online for about a day or, two, or so. I'll be so gutted. But someone put up a post on one of their Facebook pages. And I said, I'd be the first to say sorry if I'm wrong. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. They put up a post. If this is Sebastian, are all you like blaming the parents going to say sorry? And I put uh, uh, one of those, what are they called? Picture things up. I am sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I'm not sorry for what I said because I'm going on. Yeah, after charged, I haven't heard nothing on the mum. On the mum, and um, who on earth? Why would you give your daughter's ashes over to the father? I can't believe that. At least have half of her ashes each. You know what I mean? But she gave the ashes to the father. But he's good. He's really broken now. That father is. So I've got all these other cases. Yeah, 
The father has got the ashes of Magdalene. Yeah. So, but as I said, I've got all these other cases. As it's like three at the moment, I believe, waiting for the trial. There's uh, one for sentencing, and then you got Chad Dorman. You got that. Oh, Audrey Cunningham, that arsehole there, that vile creature there. His, his court case. I haven't heard nothing on that. I'm going to have to check up on that. Right? And then open cases are Elijah Vu, Sebastian. Oh, and we got the Magdalene Soto case as well to go to trial. So I've got a lot of cases that I've got to keep an eye on. Well, when I go to trial, if the if there's cameras in court, I will be streaming all day. I will be streaming all day. So if you don't want to be here all day, that's fine. If you can only spend an hour or half an hour, that's fine. But I will be streaming through, possibly through, through court TV, right? Um, those trials. I just hope they don't work. I just hope we don't have two trials running at the same time. Because I'm going to have to pick one or the other. But I can't see that. But this Chad Dorman is due up for trial on the July the 8th. Now it's been 11 months by then. That's quick. That's quick for him to go. We're going to court. We're going to trial. But we'll talk about, as I said, we'll talk about Chad Dorman tomorrow. Right. Uh, I found some interesting videos on JLR about nice ones. Well, not nice ones, but they're not. You know, I mean, you'll see them tomorrow. Don't want to say too much because I won't. It'd be pointless me doing my live tomorrow about Chad Dorman if I do. Anyway, so we're watching. There's two YouTubers I want to show you tonight. Both very, very good YouTubers. Right? And the links are in the description. One is Crime, crime Scene Obsessed. And one is Crime, Lies and Lines. Or Crime, Lines and Lies. Right? One is where she takes a phone call. From, sounds like an elderly woman. And the other one, CLL, Crime, Lies and Lines, she has a neighbour talking. And now, that is interesting to hear that neighbour talk. But apparently this neighbour don't like Chris anyway, so it could be a bit of sour grapes there, you know what I mean? Don't like him, I'm going to say what I want about him. Mum probably jealous of Magdalene because her boyfriend. Because her boyfriend loves her better in the same way. The same way. Yeah, but why would you let some guy do that to your daughter? Come on. If you're jealous of your boyfriend because he's hitting on your daughter, you just, I would knock him six foot, if not 12 foot, under. If any guy looked at my daughter like that, right? Honest to God, I will knock them flying. They wouldn't be standing up. They would be carting me away in my little orange suit and they'd be burying him. And I would willingly go and do my time if it meant him, me putting him six foot under. But there's a case I, I should really catch up on that Magdalene Soto case. I need to just do an update on that one. So I've, after I finish this live tonight, I'm going to sit down in my book and write down everything I need to do. And as I do it, tick it off. Because I'm getting so far behind on all these cases. I'm I'm watching them. I'm watching all the updates of them. But I'm just not doing any lives on them myself. So, I need to. 
I started doing lives, I need to carry on. Anyways, enough of me babbling on. Let me... Oh. Find these channels. Uh, the first one is with the phone call. Hi. I didn't hear all the phone call. I just caught the ending of it, and then I heard CP. Right. Now, this woman's an English woman as well. She's from England. Who does this? She's been doing it a lot longer than me, and a lot more. She's a lot more savvy than me. <laughs> so we're going to look at this. I'm going. I've just got to get it back. Oh. Up there. Just pull. Um, yeah, to keep him in the house for money companionship. Uh, I don't see how women can do that. I really don't. I, I can't. I can't. No. I'm sorry. If someone made, you know, you know, I'm sorry, I can't even, even, you know, I wouldn't. Right. Always put my kids first, always. And I won't put my kids before anyone else. I will not. And people who, and women who do put their men before their children. There's something seriously wrong with them. I'm sorry. Sorry. Come at me all you like. I don't care. Come at me all you like on you on Twitter. I don't care. But something seriously wrong with people women who put the man before the children. I believe in a marriage you should make time for your husband. Now when I, my kids were little. At 7.30, they'd have had their dinner, they'd been bathed, pyjamas on, and they up in their bedrooms, right? Whether they went to sleep at 7.30 was a different thing. But they was up in their rooms and they could be either doing their homework or watching the TV or listening to music, right? They wasn't blasting music, they played it quietly, right? So, and then I'd say 7.30, is mine and the dad's time. Because that's when all the adult sort of programs come on TV in the UK. It's at about 7.30, 8, 8 p.m. So if you don't want your children watching these programs, you get them to bed by that time. So everything I, I had my kids, apart from the weekends, I would have my kids up in their bedrooms by 7.30. Right? And then me and my husband would make time, chill out, watch the program, whatever. You know what I mean? And we just must be able to forget, put all your stresses of that day behind you. Right? And I do believe you should make time where you go out as well, as a husband and wife or partner. You should make time to be with your partner where you go out a date night. But, no way would I put my, my, the man before my kids. If I was out on a date night with my husband, if it, when we was alive, if something went wrong with my kids and I got a phone call, it'd be, we're going home, get me home now. And my husband was the same. If we're, we're going home now, come on, get your back, we're going. So we both used to be the, on the same level way of thinking, we always put our kids first, always. Anyway, 
couple of creators because they said they might come on panel and chat with me. Exactly the same to be him, you know. If somebody's bought him some shoes, that's what um, was being said. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so I've got this for you. Oh, I'll just mention as well, I don't know if you watched Terry Lynn, but Terry Lynn, um, she's been searching. She does like a live and she's searching every day. And she found this. Now, I don't know what that bit of paper is. It almost looks like like a face in the middle of like the, like a white card. I don't know if it's like a bus pass or, you know, something there. But I don't know what that is. But she did find some tracksuit bottoms and they were black with like the white line down the side, you know, like the Adidas um, tracksuit bottoms. Not the best photo there, but um, I think somebody clipped this from a video. So they weren't, weren't with the best. Um, and so she rang the police and it took them ages to arrive. And I think, I don't know if it was Robin Rogers or someone had to literally call the police and say, look, this woman is stood out there in the dark on her own. Like, I think she had potential. Right, we're going to... Is that what I'm made for? Oh, come on. Please find you back here. Um, so I'm going to put the calling number on screen in a second, but there's just something I want to um, show you first. So, so when everybody decided that it was come on, got me around here somewhere. Well, my problem is. Write it down. There's, there's got to be something else because Seth was happy, he was getting him. He's been the and everybody was, you know. Up. Well, about here. So you, it is. So you, you saw them at a store? Yes, yes. It was around uh, the holidays right after the holidays you know valentine's and easter yeah and did you have you I already know. seen sebastian before that then for you to recognize him well i know his, his hair was real dark and his eyebrows somebody you know i had dyed him with something i reckon it didn't look right oh when i want to leave my grandson my grandson was late because of sick. i'm in my Second child, and you know, silly. I've always been a person all my days. I'm 78. 78. Oh. Then did you yeah, call this the. I tried to call Justin, but I got connected with this lady, Mandy, on here, and you, Aww, and you gave this number. Yeah. Well, thank you. For... No, it's okay. We're not we're not cutting you off. The boy was being was in a thing, you know. He wasn't walking on his own. He was like in the the drive behind him. And when I looked at, she looked kind of like scared, you know, and. I had walked past the boy and he, he had asked me my name. He said, what's your name? I thought we were done backwards. And I looked at him and I... We agreed, what's your name? And he, he said, Sam. Sam. Seb. Right. Okay. Yeah, he might have said that, Seb. But I thought he said Sam. But uh, anyway. This pain, I'm, I hear myself. Hi, Gigi. She needs to pause YouTube. Oh. And, uh, yeah. Can you, can you pause? 
second. Just pause the YouTube live to hear you a bit. Oh, you did.
We got Sam Yan. Because I have muted it at the moment. I have got it on pause at the moment. I'm going to take that picture off so you can see it's on pause. It's on pause at the moment. So please tell me you got sound. Yeah. You know what it was? My mouse must have clicked on the on the mute on the um, laptop and it shouldn't do that. What I'll do then, I'll go back a little bit again. Right, to about there. Oh no. To about here. Okay. And we'll start again. Okay. Sorry about Hi, Bonnie. Right, you can't hear the video. Right, all the sounds are up. I'll just check, see if their sound is, if I can get their sound any higher. Let's have a look. No, 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 no. Volumes as high as I can get it on the video. But like I said, it is very hard to hear and make out what is actually being said. Right, well, I'm going to, we've got the basic information from this lady. She's 78 years old, right? And from what I heard earlier, she's seen this lad, dark eyebrows, but this lad, when she spoke to him, he asked her her name, so she told him, she said, what's your name? He said, Seb, right? And then... It's like she didn't say anything, and, and I think it was that picture that came out the weekend. 
That's probably John the... So I saw that like myself. Right? And when she spoke to her grandson about it, he said, you know what, Gran? You're probably seeing it. You probably had a dream. You're probably seeing it on a Facebook page. Right? But she says she don't have any internet. You must have internet to get YouTube. Right? So, unless I'm a bit confused. Yeah. So they go on and yeah. Oh, I keep getting kicked off tip here. I keep getting kicked off my st streaming app. Right, if I could find another better streaming app, I would. I really would. But so far, I haven't come across another streaming app. So. Anyway, so that's what she's saying. And then she goes, did you report to the police? She goes, no. Because apparently her grandson said, you probably heard it on a Facebook page, whatever. You know what I mean? Or you dreamt about it. Don't phone the police. So she hasn't. Because she's listened to her grandson. It's been kicking me off for the past few weeks, I tell you. I have to keep putting warnings, eh? If I disappear, don't go anywhere, I'll be back. The other night, they kicked me off three times. I think I'm going to kill them. I'm paying good money here for this, you know what I mean? And you're kicking me off. God is always with you today. Terry, Terry, Terry Lee. Blocked me because I called her out as a cloud chaser. Chaser. <laughs> right, at the moment, I don't have any rules in here. But I do try not to talk about other YouTubers, YouTube channels. If I do, then I'll just log it down on a piece of paper and I'll put it in the description. But I try not to. Well, it's not that expensive. I think it's what? For me, it's £20 a month. Right? So that isn't a lot to me. A lot for me. £20 a month. And then I pay something like, or is that YouTube? I pay £20 a month. I'm not sure. Well, I pay YouTube as well, but I pay extra on YouTube. So I don't have to have the, in, uh, when I'm watching, the you uh the other YouTube channels on replay, I don't get the adverts. So I pay extra for that. So it's only my streaming app and my YouTube that I pay for. Yes, I pay for my internet, but I was paying for that anyway before I started doing this. So I'm not that much out a month. Yeah, I just don't, if you can help it, I won't, I will not bring other YouTubers into this. I, I, sat, I was watching a YouTuber, but if someone brings it into chat, then I think, okay, I'll put them in the description. Just so they can be acknowledged, you know what I mean? Even though I haven't played anything of theirs, or even spoke about them, because their name was mentioned, I'll put them in the description. But, you know, um... So that's the gist of it. She didn't phone the police. Now the best is to come. So I hope you can hear this when it comes up. Right, hold on. So I'm skipping through to get to CP.
Come on, it's got to be a long day somewhere. Oh, I'll go on. I'll go on. Just go back. Let's go. Hang on. Can you hear this? I I didn't really look into the Royal Strain case. Why? I wrote you from Paul Badge, lovely country, hot weather. Uh -huh. Ninety dollars for you. That is quite expensive then for you. Why? I hate tragedy beams. Hold on. I hate tragedy beams and grifters on this case. Sorry, but to, but to your you host, I'm pissing out, and many don't know how to search and all. Right, I agree with you there. I don't think it should be. There should be no clickbait because that really gets my back up. Really gets my back up. And as I said last night, if I I was monetized and people sending like donations in through the uh, YouTube, right? Because I will not put a, a PayPal app up or Cash app. I've got it going along the bottom, but that isn't mine. That is for Seth, right? And, um, I'm wrong. So, and I said, what I do, I tally it up every night. And I think YouTube pay us monthly. So when that payment comes through, I will then make that donation to, say, Sebastian, um, I don't know, the, uh, the uh, what's the name, money, the reward money. I'd add it to that. You know what I mean? I thought they'd add their own old top to the SG. Right. Just heard the National Bureau of Missing and Exploited Children has Sebastian listed as missing on the February the 25th, Sunday, not Monday. Hmm. Someone else mentioned that. And I think why it is that probably somehow real. <coughs> 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 because <coughs> she saying the last time she saw him was on the 25th. Right? So there may be a bit of confusion as to when he last seen and when he disappeared. And she reported him missing on the 26th. Oh, so how I just... I bet that isn't comfortable. That would be... Yeah. This made me laugh ages ago. Sahara means desert yeah this is what i was told the word sahara means desert so when you when people say oh we'll see we're going to the sahara desert you're actually saying you're going to the desert desert if i'm right that's what i was told a few years ago but yes i have been i have been told about that but i think it's Possibly because there's no sightings of him after a certain time on the Sunday. If you know what I mean. After he left the Texas Roadhouse, there's no definite positive sighting of him. So it's hard to say. But I, I just put it down to the fact that perhaps I mixed the gates up because she said she last saw him on the Sunday night at 9 o'clock and when she went in at 6 a.m. Monday, he was gone. Oh. Well, enjoy.
enjoy the warm, the sun, while we in the UK. Oh, we're getting some nice weather at the moment. But it won't last. It never does. In the UK, we have a saying. If you blink, you miss it. So in the summer, if you blink, you will miss the summer. Because we get it for about two hours and that's it. Then we get rain and wind, you name it. I find it... Hang on. What about the trash? Right. I think... If this is not Sebastian in the picture, if it comes out, this is not Sebastian, then I think they need to go and che check the trash, the uh, tip, where they empty the domestic trash. Where they checked in Kentucky, that is where, you know, those big uh, skips they use on the builder's side, the construction side, them big skips, that's where they take all them. Right? But they didn't search any other skip, a landfill for the normal trash. Not that we know of. Right? Not saying they haven't. I'm just saying we haven't heard anything. They may have done and just kept it quiet. But to keep something like that quiet is very hard, especially when you've got to get a, a warrant. You've got to have um, probable cause. You've got to get the warrant and you've got to go to the landfill. Which means as soon as you're putting a probable cause for a warrant, someone is going to hear about it in the, pardon me, on the news. So they're going to be following. You've never had snow. I love snow. For about a week. And then when it goes all dirty and slushy and horrible, and I hate it. All right, what's that one? In my opinion, do we even know what KP was, was even the truth? Ex we've only got what KP has said. We're going on what she said. And can we trust her on that? Do we believe her? That's the question. Being to England, I love the country, people and many other things, but weather is rather depressing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Because there's no sightings, anything. It's not exactly. I'm sorry, he did not walk out that house. If he did, I'd like to know how he done it without leaving any scent behind. You know what I mean? So it's hard. I say he was carried. If he was abducted. Right, and I was talking about this today. As I said, the air was blue because a certain person's name kept coming into the conversation. And um, I said, perhaps Katie didn't know about it. Perhaps CP did arrange to have Sebastian took out the house. Perhaps CP, I'm, in my opinion, I'm just saying it's a theory. I'm not saying it's definite. Right. And perhaps he did have someone coming who knew the code to the house, pick Sebastian up, take him out. But how did they get past the ring doorbells or setting off any ring doorbells or house security cameras or anything like that? So you have to put, in my opinion, because otherwise I'll have people coming back saying, or going on a Facebook page saying, oh, this channel, they host, AD's been saying this and she's been saying that. You know, it's my opinion. Everything I say on here and what anyone else says on here in chat is their opinion. It's not absolute. It's their opinion. Right? So don't take anything... Too hard, it's their opinion, and everyone's in charge. That's why last night some someone come up and said Chris is a good dad. And I seen it, and I thought, okay, I popped it up on the screen. Because I thought everyone's got their rights to their opinions. Everyone. 
right? And I'm not going to just say, oh, I'm not putting that up because he's, he's all for Chris. Because there are people out there who support Chris and Katie. Fair enough. At the moment, I'm worried about Katie. Right? Because we have not seen or heard. Thank you, Tia. Thank you. <laughs> right? That's what I, because we have not seen her since she did that last interview. And we've not heard her facts. And yes, okay, she put a comment up about that picture. I think it was Monday. When it come up on YouTube or Facebook. But Chris could have put that comment. We can agree. Yes, we can agree to disagree and still be friends. Exactly. If KP did pass live detectors, she couldn't have known. I don't know if she passed. We don't know if CP has. We've only got their word. Law enforcement haven't come out and cleared them. They haven't cleared Seth. <coughs> Even though he's on camera. For the whole time he's at work. He's on camera. Because he works in like a correction facility. Where they have criminals. So everywhere you walk around that place, you're on camera. CP, CP debunked it so fast and later delete, deleted it. Yeah. No one is cleared. As Seth has said, it's an ongoing investigation. And until the investigation has finished, no one will be cleared. Unless law enforcement stand there and do a press release thing and say, Seth Rogers has been cleared. But then if they do that, it's going to throw suspicion on Katie and Chris. It's very, it is very odd. The house is blacked out and no security cameras, no doorbell camera. With a criminal family, yeah, and an autistic son who's at risk for wondering, neglectful. I don't know if he's at risk for wondering. I don't know if he's a wonderer. They did say he wasn't a runner. He didn't. He wouldn't take off. He wouldn't just go. But he did wander around the um, around the over housing schemes, housing estates. Oh yes, he's a, so, so a psychopath. And it, yes, and there's other ways you can be a psycho um, a psychopath, and there are other ways you can beat a lie detector by taking. A beta blocker. Yep, beta blockers can slow the heart down. What's that? He definitely gets one like what I'm like one. Imagine how exact could you imagine? You know how he spoke the other night on that YouTube channel, Web Sleuths? He went into that he wasn't even invited, he wasn't. He, there wasn't. I'm planning on having him there, but because he was in chat, he's probably come up and said, "Can I come in?" So they put the link out for him, and he's come up. Yep, yeah? and he went into that onto that panel like a raging bull. Right now, you imagine if he spoke like that at home, because I think that night we saw. The true CP. You know what? I was watching the, an FBI file program today and Ted Bundy case come on. Right? And I thought, you know what? This only just literally skips over it all, but I want to look into that a lot more. So I'm going to try and find more on it. Not to put on it, just for myself. Right? Just for myself to get a feeling of him. Because they put a picture up of him and I thought, if you looked at that guy, would you think he was a serial killer? An SK. You know what I mean? You wouldn't, would you? Right? You just think, oh, he's nice. He's polite. He, Christ, he worked for, he worked for the police at one time. It said something to do with the police. 
he always done a, some uh, uh, guy from some advice or something. Full of camera. Yes, a lot of people are saying that, Karen. That the um, battle trust being heavy, that guy. But they haven't searched that landfill. Where their rubbish is taken, they have not searched that landfill. They've only searched the landfill where the construction site people, companies, send their skips to. They haven't searched the other, channel, other uh, landfills. I think we saw a mild version of CP. I'd imagine he'd be mad all the time. He was home. Yeah, but what about the other one you done? The other phone call he did with Terry? Oh, my God. I bet she went... I bet after that live, she went and puked up in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Because he was hitting on her like no one's business. And hold on. Um, where's your wife? You said you shared the same bed, so where's your wife? She's lying in bed next to you and you're on the phone to a woman talking like that. Do you know what, Tia? Do you know who else put up pictures of their child that didn't look like that ch their child? John and Candice Wells. They was putting out pictures of um, Summer with a nice hair. And all this, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. She had not, her hair, her head had been shaved. And she was wearing these little hair bows, pink headbands, because her hair had been shaved. And that's the picture they needed to put out straight away, was that one. Not the one with her shoulder length hair. Whatever one, which one was it that caught fire? <laughs> because I did try and do some check that out and I couldn't find out which one it was. Yeah, I think CP and Don Wells come out the same flipping pod. You know what I mean? He's, oh, I can't. I said what I said today about CP I'm, because I can't say it on here. And if I said it to myself because I live on my own, if I said what I want to say about CP in here, my neighbours would think, I think my neighbour next door has totally lost it now. They'd have the people with the white jackets coming to, coming to take me away. Yeah. Yeah, Tim. Cut from the same cloth. So... But it, this is where we're coming into this interview, this call now with Chris. So I'm just going Let me know if you can hear this video, please. No sound. Oh. What happened there? It's difficult. That's what she said. Um... I don't want to say too much on here without upsetting anybody. Right. Can you hear it now? Because uh, I just lost it then. I lost the video. It cut out on me totally and I've just had to add it back on. So could you hear that then? Because I'm getting the sound coming through this way. No, I've got it on hold at the moment, but I'm, let me know again. ...that's listening, um, namely the person that just called in. Um, I, we were just questioning if 
anything, you know, any confusion. So we are going okay, to thanks. take it seriously, make sure the, the devil, she said, is better to law enforcement. So they well, what you talking to Chris, the stepfather of Sebastian Rogers. Right oh, now. oh, hi. I got so, you. here's the funny thing the thing that that lady was after, she's doing, yeah, absolutely crap. I want to upset her. All these answers, and they want to get stuff straight. Well, let's get stuff straight. Let's put this out here for everybody to understand. Yeah. So when you have people like that, they have this information. And so they go along or hurry. I mean, I don't want to upset a woman, you know. She's given me. Yeah, because you, you're right. My, because the reason. Uh, stream yard, I am on one bar of internet at the moment. So if I cut out again, don't go anywhere. I will be right back, okay? If I cut out, that is. I'm one of the parents. And let's talk about upsetting people because you've got people that go on these shows and they say these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And they don't use common sense. Because if she had the information, so you mean to tell me that you just went on a show with 44,000 subscribers that you had, okay, yeah. and she openly admitted that she wouldn't call the cops but had information, what kind of person with a compassionate heart says something like that? Probably or somebody that's seen something on Facebook and has, you know. Yeah, see. See. I can see where Chris is coming from there, right? If you see something, say something. But this is a woman who's 78 years old, right? And believe me, I'm 58, and my mind, my mind plays games with me. It really does, right? So I'd be, well, she'll have phone on me, and she'll, you know, you know what I mean? Should I call the police? Did, did I actually see Sebastian? Did, you know what I mean? And I'd be umming and ahhing if I was that age. I'd be umming and ahhing. Right now, I'd be going, no, yeah, I'm phoning it in. But if I was seven to eight years old, and I know my mind's playing tricks on me already, right, well, I'd be umming and ahhing as to whether sh you should phone it in. And as the son or grandson said, not to phone the police, because... He thinks she probably heard it seeing on Facebook or heard it on another YouTube channel or something like that. So she's just, because she's seen that picture that went up on Facebook, she's... <coughs> <coughs> because she's seen that picture, it's just brought it all back. And it's like, that's the that I saw in the shop. And now a family don't think she's she's telling she's she's actually all there or whatever. Like they probably think her mind's playing tricks on her. So they're telling her not to phone the police because the police aren't gonna take you seriously. But I think the police need to start taking all these people seriously, whether they're eight years old or seventy eight years old. If they phone in with a tip, they need to go out and check. I don't care if it takes two men or two women five hours to go out and do this check. Do the check, kick it off. And what annoys me is, as well is the reason that woman, she didn't actually post it. She got a, a friend of hers to post it on Facebook. Right? She just took the photo and, the, and because CBI and law enforcement never got back to her. She wasn't sure if anything was being done. So she told her friend and her friend put it up on Facebook. 
Right? And that's when all the ass hit the fan. Because it went up on Facebook, it went all over YouTube, all over Facebook, Instagram, you name it, it went everywhere. Right? So then, and then the TBR are saying, well, you shouldn't be doing that. Because you may put that child in danger. Which I can see people saying that. And it could have put that child, if it is Sebastian, in danger. However, what's the harm in law enforcement or TBI just sending an email back saying, thank you for that information, we're looking into it. That's all they've got to do. So do a, thank you for that information, we, are, we will be looking into it, or we are looking into it. Right, hold on. What's that one? I saw a video made by the world with somebody dancing and walked in front of me. I saw a sign. I'm, yeah, I seen that. There were hardly any pictures of her, and that video was posted on Facebook. Well, you know what? There's only one psychic I will listen to. Only one. All the others can take a running jump. I don't care. Right? And, but she's, what she has said is quite scary, right, what she has seen. And she spoke to other psychics and they won't talk about it because of what they've seen, right? <coughs> <coughs> and that, these other psychics she speaks to have literally seen the same thing, sort of thing, as she is seeing in her visions that she gets, yeah? And she, this psychic has said it goes higher than the FBI. That's all she can say, is this goes higher than the FBI. The people involved in the Summer Moon New Town Wales case goes higher than the FBI. And I could quite believe that. Right? Yeah, but you know just something else about that, SJ. Nancy Grace has gone very quiet. She's gone very quiet. She didn't even do another interview with Seth about his um, polygraph. Why has she gone quiet? It's not like her. Normally, when she gets her teeth into a story, she's... She's there. She's on it. Since Seth took that polygraph, she has not said or done another interview or video on Sebastian case. There's another YouTuber gone very quiet. She's nationwide. So why is she gone quiet? Right? And... And now, Seth has gone quiet since that picture. Well, he come out and he has said a few times, like, he was waiting on confirmation, and then he said he is adamant, he's definite that is Sebastian, right? His PI has said the same, right? And they are look, they're taking this very, very seriously, that picture. And Seth is down in North Carolina, is he? He's down there. He's looking for his son. But guess who isn't down there? Guess who isn't down there? Katie. As I said, no one's seen or heard of her since that interview she did the other week. And then you've got CP coming up on all these YouTube channels, especially when they do phone-ins. Right? And having his say. We don't want to hear from you, CP. We'd like to hear from Katie. We would actually like to see Katie. Not even a phone call. We want to see her on a video. Without you there, we want to make sure she's okay. Because uh, something's seriously not right here. Why is Katie gone quiet? 
Why is Seth gone quiet? Is there something coming in? The, are they working on this case? Which I believe they are. And but it's just amazing. It just gets me how Nancy Grace has gone quiet on this case. Why? Nancy Grace, we need your opinions. We need you to come and sort this lot out. Come on. Why? Because she's the one who can get all the information. Right? She's the one who can go in and get all... Yes, it would not hurt them to just give a response. Because then perhaps that woman wouldn't have put that up on Facebook. You know what I mean? If she could get a response off them, she would not have gave that photo to a friend or a friend would not have put that photo up on Facebook. Because they'd have had a response saying, thank you for that information, we are looking into it. And they could have even said, thank you for that information, we are looking into it. Please don't release this, this picture anywhere on social network sites. I heard he was back. Yeah, he went there straight away. Yeah, the picture has been confirmed. It is not AI. It is the actual photo. So, and I think FBI will be being all over that photo, making sure it wasn't edited. Like some say, but you don't have to have AI. It can still be edited. I'm sure FBI have been all over every inch of that flipping photo. Bye. And the fact that they've not got back to us about it tells me they're working on it. And eventually they will do a, a press release. One way or the other, they will do a press release. But they're not going to say anything until they know for sure. They can't. They've got to find that lag first. Uh, and apparently someone come forward and said, that lag is not name, is Dominic. He's always getting uh, confused with Sebastian. Hold on, hold on. Nope. Not believing that. If that is not Sebastian, why doesn't that lad come forward and say, look, this is me in the picture. I will talk to law enforcement. I will talk to TBI. I will talk to FBI. I will give them proof of who I am. Why doesn't that lad come forward and say it? Right? I'm sorry. I don't buy that. So until we get confirmation of law enforcement, TBI or FBI, which we now know is looking, is on the case because it's going over state lines. Because it's going into North Carolina, FBI are now onto it. Right? Seth is, was down there. I don't know if he still is down there or if he has come back. I heard he come back the other day. But then I was watching T-Rev. Is it this morning? I think it was this morning. But it was like yesterday's one. Last night, the night before, right? And the way he put it, it was as though Seth is still down there. So, right, what does this one say? I saw this on Deception Detective based on John Wells talking about what he did. What he, what did he think about what happened to his daughter? Seth fell asleep during Polly, wouldn't make it for a good show. No, but they could at least explain why he fell asleep. Well, you know what I mean? Why can't Nancy Grace just do a show and say, yes, he's done the polygraph, and yes, he did fall asleep, but he was on medication. Now, any polygrapher, Seth said, told the poly polygrapher, or whatever they call him, that he was on medication and would he be okay? to take the polygraph, they said, yes. So if we fell asleep, it wasn't Seth's fault. People have said these polygraphs can take a long time, not just 10, 15 minutes, they can take up to an hour or more. And they repeat questions in a different way. You know what I mean? So 
So don't ask the same question over and over. They ask the same question, but in different ways. So it's easy. Thanks, Terry Lynn family. We're confirming not. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, I mentioned this earlier, Susan. Thank you for being here. Um, they won't do a DNA. I'll be surprised if they're doing a DNA test on them trousers. Right? Because DNA tests cost money. Right? Now, if they can rule out those trousers by, say, looking at the size of them, the make of them, say, look, these are too small. These will not fit Sebastian. Then they've ruled them out without having to spend all that money on a DNA test. So, that's why it's come back so quick because they haven't done it. If they have done a DNA test, we don't know. But they've ruled them out by the fact that they're too small. Or they're not the same style. But I think it's because of the size. Because you've heard Terry Lee and that uh, inspector, or whoever she was, said they look a, a child, like a small child pair. So, but I am with Seth on this. That is Sebastian. Bring him home, Seth. Go and get him and bring him home. And then the truth will come out. And anyway, we will carry on listening to this phone call. I'm glad you can hear me, Anne. But once again, that's where it goes right back to speculations and assumptions, and then they put out false and misleading information. And and unfortunately, it it, it truly blocks the investigation from long the aspect. It does. So you know, I mean, and Seth would agree with me, and so just in this deal, but we we really don't. You get those leads in if they feel yeah. that. No, I agree. That. I agree. I agree one hundred percent. The only problem you do, you are. I'm a paramedic, so I understand. They were thirty years younger. Uh, you know, they probably wouldn't call in because they'd know that it was just something that was in their mind that they'd seen earlier on, on, say, Facebook or somewhere. We can't, we can't medically um, diagnose be... somebody over, over here, but just don't, but by speaking. No, I mean, you don't have to diagnose anybody you know, over the air, awesome. but common sense, I don't care who you are. Would say that if you have the information and you say credible thing, call law enforcement. I mean, how would somebody feel if their child was missing and they were in our street and they had all these people calling in and saying that they have spotted this child, they've seen this, we've seen that. If you, mm -hmm. I mean, Tips are better than no tips. You know, yeah. I mean, something, you know, when people say, well, I just didn't want to call it in, and that is a red flag right there. Yeah. Even with law enforcement, time, you know what I'm saying? And people say, she well, said her family, you know, nine to one. Yeah, she said family didn't want her to get involved. And it's probably something for that, like you said, but we it's don't 78. know. It's 78, you know. Well, you know, Anonymous is perfectly okay. Yeah. She you don't have to give information. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, we, we will pass once again, it this is good. We keep asking everybody if there is something, just reach out to law enforcement. Just all you just call them. You know, the it's immediately. not up to us as the public to sift through tips and work, feel is right mm. and genuine and what's not. You know, it's a okay. Oh, shit. Okay. okay, so if this comes in, you know, this is the information, you decide. 
it isn't up to us to to carry. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It, it does bog them down with all this crap. But but us, I'm also saying that you've got folks on your show. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm being very respectful when I say this, but they're coming in on the show, mm -hmm. and I would say this to any creator out there. Mm -hmm. When you have somebody that comes on your show and wants to make statements like that, and nobody, no, stops and asks questions that make common sense, like, okay, you don't want to get reported, you don't want to be involved in that time. You know, there's also anonymous reporting that you can put out there, and that might change the narrative as far as whether or not they want to report things. You know, they, it's because I think I'm going to Emma. Didn't say to this guy, did phone up anonymously. He's having a dig at her now for not relaying to this 78 year old lady who's in her second childhood, as she says, for not relaying it back to her. She could do it anonymously. You know what I mean? Go away, Chris. And not only that. How do you think Seth feels when you automatically say it's not Sebastian? When you see, pardon me, that picture straight away, you say that's not Sebastian. How do you think that makes Seth feel? Think about that, mate. It's just looking out for all parties' interests. Yeah. Sebastian being number one in the missing child. Yeah. Our I son, on, that. you know. Done that. But unfortunately, some people are going to have problems, you know. It's it's difficult. It's difficult. We did get as much information. I don't think she was going to tell us anything about her. I did ask. But um, she gave us the information of the store. If they, if they can listen to the call, can't they, for themselves. I'll give them the link. They can listen. If they find it a load of rubbish, they can just say no, you know. They can decide for Oh, yeah. Things. But, yes, I mean, if we're just we'll say, okay. help us out on your show and just keep pushing the narrative as far as if you see something, say something, don't wait. Yeah. I mean, every, Absolutely. every time that somebody fails to make a report and they wait two days, we'll that's two to days behind yeah. on a report or a lead that could be... be Substantial. Well, I Nobody mean, we, actually we knows did push where it. these we, go and how, we how did, important they are. We asked her multiple times, like, no, no, not. She wasn't allowed to, and then she mentioned something about her son. It was just, I think, as the call progressed, but if you noticed, we could kind of Right, but if you it. notice, people are having excuses. Didn't have a phone. My family doesn't want to involve. My son doesn't want me to report it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... It's kind she of still odd. could have seen her steps time. She might you know, have from seen the, him. If a law enforcement... Chris. Christopher. This is a 78 year old woman you're talking about. She's in a second child. Give her a break. For feck's sake. Stop having a go at a woman for making up excuses. She's 78 years old. She's phoned in this show. In other shows, but not got through, obviously. But she got through on this one. She's phoned in and gave them the details. It may have been four weeks ago, maybe six weeks ago. We don't know. But give her a break. She's 78 years old. She's gave them the information they needed. And they are going to send it to, well, I should imagine they've sent it to TBR by now. So give this poor lady a break. For fuck's sake, this man gets me so mad. person hears this, they're also going to be just doing the exact same thing. It's very odd. Well, I'd like to think that they, they would look at all in information that comes in. I would like to think that if I sent them the link to this and gave them the time, that they would listen to it and take it seriously. Would you provide the phone number? Yeah, if they want to, yeah. 
Absolutely. Oh, well, the thing is that if you're going to send them the link, you would probably need to send the phone number of the caller. That way they can to through the Pass on the that decision and then you can decide what they want to do with it. I mean, as we, I think we've already decided that it's probably nothing. But she seems to think she's seen him. Whether it's because she's seen him somewhere else, like on Facebook, I don't know. But let them decide. But I know what you mean. Load of rubbish. Yeah, I understand that. I do. I'm trying to put your comments up on the screen, but screen yard is playing up and went. Oh, it has. Right. I was listening. I've listened to it earlier before I had to go out today. And yes, it was calm, but I just think the way he says, have you noticed how these people make this up? She's 78 years old. She's going by what her son says. She's going by what her grandson says or her son says. You know what I mean? You don't know what's going on in her own mind. She may be a bit confused. She may not be, but... She she listens to her family. She's at that age now, like, well, yeah, I listen to my son. He knows best. Right? And, but you see, even when I'm 78, my son tries that with me. And I'll kick his ass. Right? They try, try it now with me. And I'm going, I'm just give them this look. We have a look in my family. Where we so like everyone has that look where you give them the side eye, but we have this extra side eye and then a stare at them. So when our family says anything to me, I'm just give them the side eye and stare. <laughs> okay, so you're not gonna take no notice of us. I know I won't. I listen to it if I agree with what they're saying. I let go what I don't want to know and keep that bit of information. I let the rest go and keep that little bit, right? But otherwise, they don't, they don't, they try and tell me. Like my daughter saying, I need a new sofa, right? My sofa is my bed. It's like my second bed. I've got a bed, but some nights I can't sleep. So what I do, I come through. I get my throw off my bed, my lovely, comfy throw I've got. Bring it in here, get comfy on the sofa, and in five minutes, I'm asleep. And she wants me to get a new coat, sofa. I said, no, this is my, my second bed. This is the bed I go to when I can't sleep in my own. I'm not getting rid of it. So they try. I think when I'm 78, they're still going to have a fight on the reins. It just should be more... She has phoned in, and she has eventually gave them this information. You know what I mean? Maybe... So, um, I mean, um, have, you been, um, just... have you been searching today, then? Have you been busy? Uh, I work nights, so I'm just now getting up, oh. and this is what I got up to here. Oh, you Yeah. On a I'm actually having to go back to work. I should go back to work. These cranes during the Going night? in the UK. I don't know about. Um, cranes run 24-7 oh, on certain they? job sites. Oh, here, yeah. over here they don't. Everything they may changes. not run like that over in Europe. I'm not sure. No. I no. can't. Uh, excuse me, Chris. Chris, look up the news updates. News updates. The UK is not Europe. We left the EU. We left we're not Europe. We're the United Kingdom. Great, uh, Great Britain. We're not Europe. We're not in the EU. We're not Europe. So get your facts straight, please, Chris. And Emma, you should have corrected him. 
I'm not going to speak for your. Oh, okay then. Well, I appreciate you calling in, Chris. It's the first time I've spoken to you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, time. Yeah, thank you. So just appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Talk to you again soon. You have a good day. You too. Bye. All right. Like, yeah. uh, what's happening in the investigation ASAP all the time yes and have you ever heard like I watch a lot of these FBI shows the real FBI where they talk about real cases and how they go about it and everything right in fact I've got it on my TV now so that when I come off my live I can just turn my TV back up but what was I going to say again? Obviously, Christian. They say, even police over here, detectives over here, they find someone who's pushing themselves into the investigation, always wanting to know what's going on. That throws a red flag up to them. Throws them a red flag. You know what I mean? CP was fishing the way you had to pull up for that phone number. Yeah. yeah. She's not going to give it you, Chris. He was intimidating. And if these women were not pretty, he would not have been as nice. He was being deceptive at first. Yes, I know. So, Harry, come on. Why is this a talk, talk show? No, it's a YouTube channel. It's not a fucking talk show. So I get corrected them there as well. I go, it's not a talk show. This is my channel. And we're just doing live callings. I get corrected that. Right? But I can see where she's coming from. She's very polite, very understanding. You know what I mean? Very British. She's not from Birmingham. <laughs> right? So... And it was very deceptive at first. And then when she said, what did you think of that caller? That's when it came out. You, did, did you notice the change in his voice? Once she said that to him. <laughs> saying, well, I'm Chris Proudfoot. <laughs> he was so... It's so, he's so, he's, I've said that from day one, like when we heard that um, phone call that we, uh, God, what was it, where the police were on the radios, right, that one, uh, and he was talking, and then he was talking to this guy on Narc Divers. And he was going, I'm the guy you need to talk to. I know everything. No, you don't know everything. If I'm going to talk to someone, it's going to be law enforcement, TBI. You know what I mean? They know it. So, and I can understand why Seth gets mad when he hears that. And then he hears KTB saying, yes, TBI or law enforcement are phoning us every day with updates. What updates? They have no updates. As I said in that one press release, the last one they did, they're waiting for that one big tip to burst this case wide open. And I think that was that one tip. And I swear to God, if this is Sebastian, I'd like to find out who this woman is because I want to praise her to heaven and back. Because if anyone is going to find Sebastian, it's not going to be us YouTubers, unless you're out there searching, like Terry Lee and all that lot. It's not going to be any of us. It's going to be the public. It's going to be someone from the public who will get that information that will open this case right up. So, the next video is about the neighbours. Right, now there's one inch.
Ah, very Let's see if I can get up. My 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 jaw was hitting the floor when I was listening to that. So let's let's sing the truth. Neighbors know. What do the neighbors know? I understand a lot of them want them out, want them out, want them gone. Want them gone. Right? From what I can understand, make out there. Who is talking? I'm here. Right. I don't think this neighbour actually likes CP. <laughs> Join the club. He's not doing himself any favours. And as someone said, if they was prettier, if these women were not pretty, he would not have been as nice. No, he wouldn't have been. I'm not saying the women aren't. Whip sloops aren't pretty because they are. But he just finds like don't forget he had two POs on that show and he finds them intimidating because he knows they've got information they're not sharing with him. And that's what's peeing him off. He knows they've got information that they're not sharing with him. Because why should they? He's not paying them. Seth, well, one is pro bono, so he's only paying for the one PI. Right? But well, the other one is pro bono. And she's been working on the case from the beginning, from what I can make out. From all the posts I've seen of hers, she's been working on it from the beginning. So, she's pro bono. One is, one is in. And he doesn't like it because they've got information he hasn't got. And this is why he's coming on all these YouTube channels now, because I don't think law enforcement is talking to him. Why? They're not talking to Seth, so why would they be talking to him? Right? And so he's not getting any information. He gets very quiet when he's asked a question at his office script. Yes, he does. Yeah, and he skirts around a lot of questions. Like, you ask him a question, you go, let's get this crystal clear and talk about something. And we go, hold on, was that the question? Was that the question that we asked? No. Answer the question they are asking you. Don't skirt around it. Don't make it. Clear, crystal clear. We don't want to make it crystal clear. We want you to answer the question you're being asked. That's all. Simple as. Anyway, I'm going to get into this one now because this is by Crime by Brooks. I love her. I love her. Right. So we're going to listen to some of this, okay? Yeah, at, at his height. That's mm -hmm. crazy. You don't My have next 14 yeah. shoes. If he does, what? he's stuffing Walmart bags in it. Yeah, right. Right? That's right. Size 14 boot. All right, Chloe, <laughs> yesterday was a. We had a long day. Let's get to it. And yes, recorded with permission. They asked for our uh, Marjorie Green Cam footage. They asked for the camera footage. Uh, um, um, everyone turned over. Um, I don't know what or if uh, there's any. 
moving on, say, like my neighbors or something, or the people down the street, because I, I mean, let's put it this way. Um, it's very but it's I mean I think this is a very hard hand right here in um do I think okay look at me interrupt neighbors that's what we all said he said it just doesn't make um i mean it just doesn't make sense that it's not a criminal um investigation because you have a missing um it's actually a 15 year old and i mean Outside of the searches that were done by, I don't want to give names, but it was a big, I mean, it, I mean, it was a big, actually, chaos. It was big schemes with a bunch of things. And I, I believe this, if we have a kid missing or if, now, um, it's my kids are grown, but um let's just say if um you had one of my kids that was missing that was 14 15 years old um where is the search i mean they scaled back the search to and yep. Uh, uh, um, I just, I mean, I just don't get it. What did you think about them searching the landfill? That now, okay. There are two different areas goes one it goes to actually it one it goes to actually nashville and the second it goes to kentucky mm -hmm. so now you have commercial we'll go to kentucky and now but you do have some that if um, we have ours, it goes to now. And but them searching it is something. I'm just trying to see if there's. See, you just heard him say the one in Kentucky is. I even looked it up, and it said for rubble brick. House and um, big items, you know what I mean? Well, I think it was several, but he's just said Nashville. Their one goes to Nashville.
Right. I mean, Why didn't I search that one? I'll say it this way. Um, you have a lot of job sites. Their material, it goes to Kentucky. Okay, Chloe, let's talk about the importance of this. Okay. So I asked him, I said, what did you think about them searching the landfill? And he explained it. Mm -hmm. You have like, I'm just going to say regular garbage, but if it's commercial or construction related, it goes up. Okay. That's the landfill they searched. And we know that there's a reason for it. Absolutely. What do you think about that? Um, I don't know what there was. I don't know if it had to do with that construction site. And I'm wondering if something, you know, he was put in something there. That was my thought, but I, I don't, I don't know. They went there to. Right, because you need to search the landfill. To get to warrant, you've got to have probable cause. Now, the probable cause there was we've got a missing child to this construction site. And the second dog led wrongly to that construction site. That's the probable cause. Why they got the warrant to search? Why? They, and then I put out the reason I searched it was because the garbage the men said their garbage bins, their bins, were a bit heavier than usual. So, and I think you can still check it now. It might be six, 60 days plus, but you can still go and check that. And spend more than one day. Your job. Do your job, Lord. Get a team out there searching. Landfill. Nobody in their right mind, law enforcement, regular people, YouTubers, whatever, are going to go to a landfill and search. And he explained it. He was like, it's because it's commercial. And we know there is. Is some construction businesses. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And you don't just search a landfill in a whim. You don't, you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Well, I'm going to skip past this brief. Because we'll be here all night because it's two hours long. Right. Law enforcement went door to door to door to door wanting camera footage. Yeah, right away. Mm -hmm. Everybody's trying to figure it out. I mean, everybody's, but now I, I can say he's not the type of person that I associate with and be you mean you mean Chris yes yes um out and it has to be right and he has to be right and um, which I don't drink, but he does drink. Mm. Now, did I witness any? No, I know. But my friend's daughter, she she works in actually Texas Roadhouse. Here it comes. She doesn't know that 
He wasn't working the night that she had seen them in there the two weeks before that. And something that I don't need he from now this is very part is very angry and they ended up leaving. And uh, two weeks no, wait, Sebastian got angry. Katie got angry. The staff got angry. Who got angry? No, it was Chris who got angry. Oh, I thought he wasn't home the whole month of February. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. No, no. No, he wasn't home. He said, no, no. So, a woman that works at the Texas Roadhouse, for whatever reason, Dum Dum, I guess, didn't like his tater tots or something. And he got real angry because I said, now, who? Who are we talking about? The wait staff? We're talking about Sebastian? Katie? No, it was Chris. That got all pissed off in the restaurant. And then, of course, we go into his regular schedule. Question is, why wasn't he home that weekend? That right. And why lie about the fact that he hadn't been home that whole month, too? I mean, that still doesn't make sense. And then exactly. that weekend, he's just not there. I mean, th there's no way this wasn't pre-planned. I don't know, in my opinion. I I can't see chat, and people might just, like, coming to a head. I, I think we're all on the same page here. And if anybody has any questions about law enforcement and what they know, the neighbors have been heavily, heavily spoken to. Yeah, as as you yeah, I did do a video. I, did do a video again. I pointed out how Sebastian could get past all the videos because it is pitch black. He could go around the back of the houses and down the little embankment they've got at the back of these houses, things like that. Right? Yeah. When I did that video, this was before the picture came out of him, right? And I thought, well, perhaps if he, and since then I've heard everything, I'm thinking perhaps he did run away. Perhaps, like the PI said, he could have overheard a conversation on the phone. Right? Because you don't know, I have, whenever I do a phone call, I have it on speaker. Right? Because I can't always hear it properly. So I have it on speaker. Everyone else can hear it then. <laughs> anyway, so... um, If you've had your phone on speaker when talking to Seth one night, that Sunday night, he's overheard you saying... Or overheard him saying, I've had enough of this. I'm not... You know what I mean? I can't take it no more. It's even... It's, it's made this side before. Give the cats or me, and it shows him over the cats. And my cats, I've got two of them, and they're my babies. Right? And like I said last night, I'd be saying, well, there's the dog, don't let it hit you on the way. Right? So, has he made her choose between her son and him? Right? Or... Did he arrange to have someone come in and take him? But if he has run away, then how is he, if he, where is he now? There's no signs of him. There's no signs of him anywhere. They've searched miles and miles and miles and miles. They've looked everywhere. There's no sign of him. Right? It's been 60 odd days, so how's he surviving? Food, water, warmth. Right? So, I don't think he went away. If this video, that picture is Sebastian, 
right? I would say CP had someone coming and taking him. Katie didn't know about it. And it's only when she phoned him up in the morning, or once he's got home after the police have all left and everything, he's saying, look, I know where he is, he's safe. And that's why she's so upset in that first interview. She's so upset. You could see she was upset, but then there's little, it was just those little things that she gave away, like, like Judas Delight. If she didn't hang on that, if she hadn't done that Jupiter's Delight, I would believe every word she said in that interview. But she did that Jupiter's Delight and boom, not, not believing a word you're saying, love. Right? So I think she does know what happened. I think she's on a plan to either have him took out the house or there was an argument where he's bumped his head, he's gone to sleep, not for thought about it, he's gone to sleep, he's passed, because of that one other thing she said in that first interview, I went in and woke him up, and he was gone, how do you wake someone up if they are gone, you can't wake someone up if they're not there, and the word gone, it's like walking in and finding someone who's passed during the night and saying, they've gone, they've gone. You know what I mean? So I think some, my, I still go back, if this is not Sebastian in this picture, I'm hoping and praying it is, if this is not Sebastian, then I'm going back to my first law where I say, there is an argument, something happened. He's knocked his head. He's gone to bed then. Bit of a concussion, whatever. Bit of a headache, thinking he's just got a bit of a headache. I'm going to sleep. Gone to sleep and passed. She's found him in the morning. She's got to get him out of that house somehow. Because God for sake to find your child dead in, on a lodge in your house. Because that's not going to look good with closing his court case in the coming days, is he? Well, having a missing child is not going to look good on your, in your court case either. So why don't you just tell the truth? Tell us where he is. Tell us who's got it or tell us where he is. Simple as. So two weeks before, they're at the Texas Roadhouse. And Chris has one of his good old shit fits. Listen to it again. <laughs> and Oliver. something that Sebastian wanted, or I don't know exactly... If it was something that they didn't serve, or I'm not 100%, but he got from, now, this is just hearsay part, is that he got very angry, and they ended up leaving. And it was two weeks. Now, who, who got angry? Sebastian got angry? And the reason I ask this question is, who got so angry that they up and left the restaurant, the Texas Roadhouse, two weeks before? He said it was something Sebastian wanted, and he said it was Chris that got so But Chris wasn't supposed to be, said he wasn't even in at that time. He hadn't been there. You remember that? They got angry and left. Something Sebastian wanted. Well, God forbid he wants an extra roll or he wants some dessert. How many of you have been at a restaurant where your, your child wants to order the whole damn menu? <laughs> many times. Yeah. You're in public. You're not going to have a meltdown. I think it was for Mother's Day in the UK. We have it before the USA, right? And I arranged it with my son where we go for a meal. Now, because it's Mother's Day, uh, my daughter in law, her mother, come as well. Now, we got there, we all just. Did... 
Ellis at most of his dinner, the main course. But then he wanted a... Or some pudding. So we've gone up. And we've ordered this pudding for him. And we paid for it. In the end, he didn't eat it. And I'll tell you why he didn't eat it. Because we told them put ice cream on it because they don't eat ice cream. So they brought it with ice cream on. So we took the ice cream straight away. Took it all away. I couldn't eat no more. I was full. Daughter, she wouldn't eat her pudding either. She wanted this one particular pudding. I'm not going to have a strap over it. Oh, I've had enough of this. We're going home. You know what I mean? Because kids... You know, today I was at my daughter's and his other grand went to pick him up for, me, for lunch. He comes home at lunchtime. His school is two minute walk, two to, two to five minute walk down the road. That's it. It's on the same road to the gone. Clearly, they something about ch buttons when he gets in. So he comes in, his mum's got his lunch ready for him. And um, he goes, Can I have a And tries to make a Talking about that. And, and her mum says, oh, I did. But we knew not to say anything like that to him because if you say you got chocolate buttons when you get home, he's not going to want his dinner. So he, you know, so he did. But the cake she had for him, she's had to put back in the box because she had an ice going up for him. She gave it me. Never thought about that. But, but she, one thing, and that's all he cares about then, is those chocolate buttons. He don't care about his lunch, whatever you've done for him. He wants some chocolate buttons. So you can't tell him anything like that. You've got to have let him come home, let him have his lunch, and then go, I thank you for eating all your lunch. Here's, here's some chocolate buttons. Or, thank you for eating all your lunch. Here's your go for your pudding, for dessert. You know what I mean? It's chocolate buttons he could have had on the night after he come out of school. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm, oh, why did you say that? You know what I mean? But that is what Alice is like. You mention one thing and that's it. That's what he wants. I'm not going to scream and shout at him because I've just spent like, I don't you know, 15, 20 pounds or more on puddings. And so, but that's Chris. It's got to be his way or no way. You eat that lunch, otherwise we're going home. And come unglued. No. Katie got angry. The staff got angry. Who got angry? No. It was Chris who got angry. Oh, I thought he wasn't home the whole month of February. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. No. 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 Um, he, okay. He would leave. Now, you know he has a fifty year okay? Now, he was, now, you're, um, I'm going to have to look at the date from two weeks from the day before, because that's when they were in there. Now, he would come home sometimes on the weekends. And that's when he would get, that's when they would get like a bunch of stuff done. And then he would take off again and he would go back and then he would be gone. But that's what happened. Now, um, it's just, I mean, I'm trying to put a timeline like, I mean, 
he basically had me and my wife, we've been scratching our heads saying, well, is there something that, but it's just things that you just can't, I mean, it's just things that, that we don't know. Now, I will tell you this. Now, I mean, um, I, I know from experience and because I have family members, um, had brother-in-law, um, actually, um, he's a lawyer, and, but I can tell you this, they have been getting, uh, I can't say every day because I don't watch every day or, I mean, but I have to pass to actually go into town that way and why, and, but probably the last probably 45 days, um, I would say every other day, they've been, it, it's actually not detectives, it's, I think, I think they're getting regular visits by, it has to be actually, so, I don't know. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, all right. So, but, have, has law enforcement followed up with you or any of your neighbors um, recently? No, 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 I mean, the only thing they did was they actually took the ring, uh, they actually took the ring footage and, and I have six cameras on actually my house. Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, they actually downloaded it, which didn't show anything. And, um, um, but we had nothing else. I mean, we didn't have no, I mean, said, um, have you thought of this or have you, I mean, it's basically been quiet. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I can see what my neighbors, you know, are doing around our neighborhood. So, I mean, I couldn't tell you if anything was unusual, you know, let's say if somebody around here went missing. But did you notice anything unusual that weekend? Was there like a wreck and went down because Sebastian's missing? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. I mean, and then to think that there's no scent. Now, well, I that's, mean, that's because Chris said the dogs are credible and they're dishonest. No, I mean, I don't believe that. Mm -mm. I, I don't believe that. I mean, um, I mean, you have a canine, you pick up a scent. And I mean, it's, in, it's, in, it's, in, it's I mean, it's in a well established. Mm -hmm. But now, Sorry. That weekend, and um, this is what the whole thing is with a whole bunch of neighbors. Um, we never really like. I, I mean, like, okay. My internet is flying up again. Now, if we watch each other's houses, like. The bar okay. And this is important because they didn't really see anything strange except that Chris Pleat wasn't home that weekend. Because before he would cut out of work early, come home sometime on Thursday, and then leave Sunday evening morning. 
But the weekend Sebastian goes missing, I said, he said, I didn't know that he said. Didn't know that he said. He probably. <laughs> this marriage isn't going to work out. Something about Sebastian. Rubs Christy Poo. Just drop this one. Sure does. Yeah. Chris was a did we not? Wrong. Yes, we did. Hi. So, what was he doing two weeks earlier when he was at the restaurant? I had the feeling perhaps when Sebastian was at his father's, he would come home. Because Seth said, whenever Seth, Sebastian come to his, he would go down to Mississippi, to him. Why didn't he come home? It was a big question. There was an investigation going on with the child services. You know, they say that there's an investigation going on. It happened in January, and he moved out. He took the five wheel and stayed down in Mississippi in February. Early February. So it's like the end of January, beginning of February, all this kicked off. So he's probably saying to me, and if he has heard this on a phone call, it's me or him, then he's probably thinking, I'm going. I'm not taking this no more. Or did you hear say, you know what, when I get back home, he's going to be in some trouble. I'm not standing for that behaviour. He walked out there on his own. Where is he? Right? No way could he survive without some form of help for 60 plus days. Without no... Right? Now, I heard say that where he was spotted, where that photo was took, He's been spotted around that area. Not in the park, but in North Carolina, in other places in North Carolina. Right? Because at the time, he wasn't known down there then as being missing. And as someone said, perhaps he doesn't realise that he's missing. Perhaps he thinks it's just a holiday. You know what I mean? There could be a trailer. Right? A trailer home. He could be a holiday. But after 60 odd days, would you not think that child would want to speak to his mum or his dad? When they broke up for the summer break, which is someone said now, they've already broke up. I'm not sure about that in the US. Right? No, they don't break up here. Break up in Scotland was earlier than they do in the UK, down in England. So, the break June, around about the middle of June, something like that, the end of June, because they go back the beginning of June, the beginning of August. In England, the break up rang back July. And they go back in September. Uh, Scotland always breaks up a few weeks earlier than fusing. It was when I first moved up here. Right. So, um, I don't know when they break up for summer break in the US. We need to go. And people are saying, but he was only for the holiday. He wasn't. He was staying with Seth. He was going there for the summer holidays and he 
glaube, ich habe es gesehen. Ich packte ihm in das online school, right? And it wasn't a permanent thing, it was just like a transition. Right? Rather than throwing me in new school without knowing by doing online schooling and then to the school. But Sebastian apparently didn't like the idea of online schooling. Right? But it's bright. It comes back to their routine. Right? An autistic child likes routine. Right? And him not going to school is breaking that routine. So he's not going to like that. But once he transitioned and was able to go to school, it'd be okay. But I just don't like the fact that Chris brought that up. But uh, Sebastian didn't want to go and live with his dad. He did want to go and live with his dad. He just didn't want to do the online schooling. Right, I'll recall one interview that CP did make in make Ferris being home more in February, but I've watched two, so many interviews, I can't recall which one. I'm older, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> You're older than me. I'm 58. I'll call one interview that CP did make. No, the, all I've ever heard is that he used to come home during the January on the weekends, I suppose, because he won't give us dates as when he was home in January. Because apparently he's been told by Ali not to give any dates. Why? Why can't you say when you was at home in January? Why? Right? And I know there's some some in January where child services was called. And that's why they would ask that person to move out of that home. They did it with Don Wells, you remember? If you know some of me in New Carl Wells case, they did it with Don Wells. And that's why he had like a little microwave or something like that in the, when he was at work, because he used to sleep in the houses where he was working. And um, Chris was staying in the five-wheeler. Because and we kept saying, why do you think he come home on the weekends? I can understand not coming home in the week. Being half hours back and forth all the time. No, I can understand that. But why wouldn't you come home on the weekends? And I said, I know why. It's because there was an active case investigation going on from child services. And he was told not to be at the home while Sebastian was there. So if that is the case, why the hell was he there two weeks before Sebastian went missing? Why? Why the hell was he there? He shouldn't have been there. But this goes on for quite a while. I've skipped a little bit, I think. A bit further. I'm just going to jump a bit. Look out. Something about Sebastian rubs Chrissy Poo the wrong way. I oh, we got to that. Sure thing does. They had solar flares, which is the ones that, like, um, what you buy in Walmart. And, like, just, and, like, um, it's what you put in the ground. Now, I don't know how many of them, but it actually was a circle. Now, can somebody be saying that the solar flare actually was a flashlight? No. I don't know. Now, that's interesting. And also, you said you have cameras around your house. Why did yes. they not have any cameras? She she used to work for Brinks if she doesn't still work for them. No. They just put, actually, cameras in um, three weeks ago. Hmm. They just put, there were three Brinks trucks. Um, oh, we know about that. 
really know um, it's actually one of the guys because it's, I mean, because it's one of the same guys who actually worked on uh, um, Oh, isn't that funny? And everything in their home. Now I've got missing. Yeah, well, he, now if I had a child, an autistic child, well, put it this way. I've got a door chain on my door, and I've got a, a like, deadbolt lock on my door. But now, my son can open the door by taking the chain off. Ugh. So now I'm getting a nut up, right? So that he can't open the door. And maybe even a chain put on. A chain put on higher up. So we, if he does open the door, it's that because he can't reach it. Right? Because and not see they see you doing it enough times, so they'll learn how to do it. <laughs> He's doing his what do when they're going out the door. <laughs> we can do it. So I'm looking at either putting another lock on or another chain. I think it'll be another chain. But it'll be at the top of the door. So even I'll have well I could reach the top. Be. He won't be able to reach the top. So even if you got the door off, this thing I want is one where you can act, you can lock, put the chain on as you go out the door, and then you got a key, and you use a key on it to lock it. So then when you unlock your door, you have got to use that key thing to unlock the chain. So you can take the chain off so you can get in. So. The Chain is always on whether you're in or whether you're out. Right? So I'm looking at getting one of them. Because then you won't be able to open it because I'll have the key. So even if you could get reach open it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so what? He was explaining before um, I started recording is yeah. everyone's yeah. house. When you buy a house in that neighborhood, there are driveway, backyard, whatever, and it's dark. They'll come on. He calls them solar flares. They're solar lights. And, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry that some people and I knew this was going to happen. Are going to scream and yell saying, why didn't this person do more? Why didn't this person do more? You can only make so many phone calls. Could you imagine if you're outside washing your car? And you water hose or the pressure wash. And they're like, oh, I'm now pressure washers, in my opinion, hurt.
which is rather annoying. So hopefully you'll have sound again. Sorry about that. I'm just going to anyway because. Have you got sound now? Join the club. Because I'm a f snake, f the f bomb is dropped quite a lot by me. It really is, and I have to be so careful now when I've got my grandkids around me, right? And I said to my son, I said, if your if my grandson ever comes out with the f bomb at school, then you can blame me. But if he comes out with any other word, then it's not me, because I'm the one for the F-bomb. Right? And the other week, my son was waiting between my living room door and my hallway, because we was waiting on some food delivery, which was taking forever. Right? And he's turned and he said, this is... Something like, and he said something like, this is shit. And my granddaughter walked past her and said, this is shit. And I went, what? You can't say that. So Simon said, you've got to remember. You've got to remember that she picks up on these things. Right? And she picks up on it more than Ellis does. Right? Ellis does come out with some words. And we say, Ellis, you can't say that. You know what I mean? But Olivia. The daughter, she's a little horror. She's a cutie pie, but a little horror. You've got to be care so careful around her. So if she does drop the F-bomb, it's probably because she probably heard me say once or twice. You know what I mean? But I do try. I, I am so good normally when I'm with the kids. I really am. I don't drop the F-bomb very often. Unless someone really pisses me off. Bye. So, all I'm saying is the neighbour wouldn't like me then. Breaking up a bit.
to you because it's breaking up. So, I'm gonna say, hold on, let's see what it Uh, listening to a phone call that crime lies and rather I can't think of the full title. Right, it's in my link in my description. We're listening to a phone call that she had with a neighbour and I, I love to hear what the neighbours say because even though it looks a quiet area right it's true you do watch neighbours houses I used to watch my neighbours houses especially if I knew they'd gone out for a day or had gone on holiday and things like that but then someone said why would you be watching your neighbours house if you didn't like them even more, I'd watch my neighbour's house across the road because I didn't like her and she knew it and she used to say, um, I, I wasn't too keen on her. I put up with her because she was my neighbour to the right of me. The woman across the road, she said something about my daughter. So, boom. Mama Bear here went in for the juggler, right? And put this, this woman in a place. And so, I didn't really like her. I put up with her because she was a friend of my friend, right? Thank you, Heather. Let's put that up. Right. But, um, so I used to watch certain neighbours if I didn't like them. Ooh, what are they up to? Hmm. Bit of a gossip there, you know what I mean? But no, no, I can't be bothered with all that. What goes on outside is their business. You know what I mean? I can't be bothered with all that gossip. Right? And because, you know, I say to people, okay, what's been happening? And they go, oh, nothing. I say, oh, you're hopeless. I come to you for some gossip and I'm getting nothing. So now I don't bother. I just don't bother. I can't be asked to be. I'm talking about the outside globes, but about the outside globes. That's the part. Yes. It's like she said, she, she mentioned the outside globes and she said, are they like most activated or something like that? She said. Right? And he said, yes, we have lots or something. And she said, oh, so you have lots that were they, did they activate? And he said, no, they're not activated. They don't activate, they just. Stay on, and he was on about the garage lights. 
no other lights. But I'm sure if the garage lights were on on the Sunday night when the rubbish took down to the curb, surely they just seen. But then again, perhaps the doorbell didn't go that far. Just firing up to the curb to pick Sebastian up. I don't know. So it's. I'm a bit iffy about that ring doorbell camera because it's got it set very high. If she's picking up the neighbour, and now they're not directly facing their house, they're directly facing uh, Chris CP's neighbour's house, their driveway. But CP and KP, their driveway is off a little bit from that ring doorbell. So how does someone taking their rubbish down their drive activate a ring doorbell? I don't understand that. They must have it on a high setting, which means every time a car goes past, it's going to set off a ring doorbell. Every time anyone walks the dog, it's going to set off a ring doorbell. Do you know what I mean? If she can pick up Sebastian on her ring doorbell, she's got a setting. Like I said last night, if I had a ring doorbell, it would just go to my gate. It wouldn't go past my gate, my front gate. It would just go to my gate, that distance. Right? And we'd only pick anything up in my, in that front area. Right? We wouldn't go across the road or anywhere else. It would just go to my gate. Because I don't want cars setting off every five minutes or people walking their dogs setting it off every five minutes. But she's got it so that it picks Sebastian up. And if you look at that house and you look at where Sebastian's uh, KP's driveway is, it's off a little bit from their house to the right of their house. Right? So how is her doorbell being activated by them going down their driveway to put the bins out? That's what I can't get my head around. Anyway, I'm going to skip a little bit more because I want to finish soon. And it's 0.25 speed. A bit more. Right, I think we've gone in the panel. I love her terminology towards CP. I really do. She doesn't care. I'm a watcher, and it's about this case. About any case, really. She does not care. As she sees it. I love her.
Have you not heard the interview again? No. I've got all the volumes up. I've got all the volume up. All the speakers are on. Right. Well, we still got, like... Half hour or so to go of this. So what I might is finish here for the night and then continue tomorrow night on this interview. Hopefully they will have a better... I can check this out and get the uh, interference sorted and make sure you can hear the videos because I don't know why you're not hearing it. So, but it's interesting what he said so far. A lot of it now is just going to be speculation because he said he don't know about the SA and all that. Like, it's just what he's heard, right? But he does know that Chris was there weeks before Sebastian went missing. Now, how do we know he hadn't been there the weekend before he went missing? Just because he didn't see him doesn't mean he wasn't there. Right? Because don't forget, Chris is not supposed to be there from, from what he said. He hadn't been there all of February. So, perhaps for some reason on your hand, is my opinion, I think it's got to do with the dog services. And that's why he wasn't there. And if that's the case, then he could get in trouble for being there. If that is the case, I can't imagine him being so public about himself being there. Because if child services do ask questions, do go to the name and say, Have you seen CP in the area at all? And I say, Oh, yeah, he was here last weekend. They're going to drop him right in here. So, I'm sure there'll be more coming out tomorrow, but yesterday someone mentioned someone, the owner of a store in Henderson, and it was called Worsham's, Worsham's Market. Well, when I typed that into Google, it came up to a beach, came up to a place called Beach Market on the road. So, if that person just watched this video and they hear this, please let me know if that's the right place. If it is, because every time I typed in Worsham Market, it came up Beach Market. I need to know if it was in Hendersonville. I even typed in um, Garrity and it came up another name of a store. So, and they said it's opposite the school. And that's the one that came up opposite the school was Beach Market, New Hope Road. Until I can get that confirmed by someone, I will either email them. If I get confirmed, is that like the right place? And that this is the guy that owns 
then I will email him to see what he can put on. I'm not going to phone because it's a US number and it'll charge me the earth. So I'll see if I can email him. If I have to, I will phone him. But I don't think he'll understand one word I am saying. So I'd rather do an email if I could. But I just need to know that it's in place. Because I've been told, where's Sam Markey? And every time I've typed that in, it come up Beach Markey on New Hope Road, which is opposite the school. And they said the store owner was also one of the people that saw CP's mother's car parked up. So I'm not going to say anything about the, who we, the name of the person that gave me. I just need to know that if you watch this video, whoever gave me that information yesterday about the owner of the store of Worsham's Market, can you confirm it is now Beach Market? Because that's what's showing me on Google Maps. So, hang on, I'm going to end it with this video, but I'm just going to make a note of where we are on this so that we can come back to it. Right. One, two, three, four, two, five. We will come back to that tomorrow night because it's getting on for what? How long now? Three hours. Three hours. And it's like 20 past 11 here in the UK. But I am on tomorrow afternoon. It will only be a short, it'll be about two hours, no longer. And that is about Chad Dorman, who's up for trial on the 8th of July. And I've got a video where it shows you around, not in inside of the house, just around the outside of the house, where it all happened. And just update our in the case so far. So if you're interested in that Chad Dorman who unalived is three beautiful little boys executed, you could say, whatever. He's going that he was mentally ill. Hmm. Well, okay. I have a mental illness, you could say, because I suffer from anxiety and whatever but i don't go around killing everyone i feel like it sometimes but i don't right so that's who we're talking about tomorrow afternoon chad dorman right if you've been following that case please come and listen um we'll start from the beginning when it first happened and we'll run through it and update on everything okay so I'm going to leave you all. So thank you all for being here tonight. I'm sorry about the sound. I don't know why you kept losing sound. Because it was coming through on my headphones. So I'll check it all out. I'll do a rerun. I'll check it out tomorrow morning. I'll just say thank you for being here. I'm going, let's take that comment off first. And I'll uh, see you hopefully tomorrow night. And as you can see along the bottom, I've got Seth Rogers' petition, the link. Please go and sign that. May help, may not help. You never know. You've also got his cash app there and the GoFundMe link. Now, all that money is going towards not just keeping him a roof over his head, but he's using that money to find Sebastian, right? He's using it to find Sebastian, like getting flyers printed off, uh, getting the T-shirts made, paying his PI, 
because that ain't cheap. That won't be cheap, right? So if you can help, please do. If you can't, then go and sign the petition. That costs you nothing. Just go and sign it. Links will be in the description. They always are. So I will see you tomorrow at an earlier time in the afternoon at 3 p.m. my time, which is what, 3? About 11 a.m. your time, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2. Between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. your time. So it is an early one if you want to join me. And we'll be talking Chad Dorman. Okay, so I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.